guys, it's Nikki, and today I wanted to film a video about the books I want to read in the summer. I was actually supposed to film a video about my May reads, but it's currently middle of May, and I don't think I'll be able to read anything during May except just one book because graduation is upon me. So yeah, that's why I just decided to film a video about books I want to read in the summer, because then I'll be able to read all the books that I want that amount of time. Okay, so first book in my list, I've already started it. I'm already in the middle of it. Ta-da! It is The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the final book from her Raven Cycle series. If you're not familiar with the story, we follow Blue, who is a daughter of a psychic, and her adventures with the four boys who are on a quest to find a Welsh king. I've enjoyed it so far. I'm in the middle of it, as you can as you can tell. Okay, let me see who my bookmark is. There's little Blue. You can see that. Will you focus? There's Blue as my bookmark. Yeah, so that's where I am right now. I am loving it so far. Things are going pretty crazy. And I am excited to see how this ends because I really don't know what to expect. I don't want to expect anything. I want to be surprised. That makes me kind of nervous and excited to read the rest of the story. That's what I'm reading right now. And I don't know if I'll be able to finish this for the month because my finals are coming, that kind of thing. Anyway, but I will finish it in the summer. The next book that I'll be reading is Grendel by John Gardner. This is the retelling of Beowulf. If you're not familiar with Beowulf, it's one of the oldest stories ever written. It's about this warrior who is called on by a kingdom because their village is being attacked by a monster whose name is Grendel. So yes, this story is Beowulf told from the perspective of the villain. I am really excited to read this. I studied Beowulf in one of my classes and I really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to read this to learn more about like on the villain's perspective and their side of the story. The next book I'll be reading is Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge. This is a retelling again. I love, I've, I think for the summer I'll be reading a lot of retellings. That's kind of like what I want to read right now, basically. It's the retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Lots of people on YouTube, booktube, talk about this and have read it already. I haven't. I want to read it because Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite fairy tales. If you're not familiar with this, all I know is basically we follow this girl who has been betrothed to the evil ruler of her kingdom, but what? that evil ruler doesn't know is that girl has been trained since birth to kill him. I'm not really sure if I buy that considering how, I don't know how you can be trained as an infant to kill or hate somebody because you're an infant. So yeah, but I'm excited to read this because, you know, I love me some retellings right now. The next book that I'm going to be reading is Bitter Greens by Kate Forsyth. This one, I don't even remember how I found out about this, is a retelling of Rapunzel. Besides being a fairy tale retelling, it's also historical fiction because the main character, well, there's three main characters, and one of the main characters is actually the one who wrote Rapunzel, the fairy tale that we know of today. Yeah, Charlotte Rose, yeah, she's the author who wrote Rapunzel. At least the kid friendly version that we know today because the original Rapunzel was written by Jean Battista Bazzini. Basile, I think I butchered the name. Yeah, it was written by Basile. It was completely different. Charlotte Rose was the one who wrote the Rapunzel that's been passed down through generations. Yeah, decided to read this because it's a combination of historical fiction and fairy tale retelling. Now that I've pretty much ended, like, okay, I've, I've finished Winner's Trilogy and then I fin I'm about to finish Raven Cycle. So I'm about, I'm like finishing two series. I'm pretty much gonna start delving onto new book series. And one of them, which I'll be reading this summer, is Cinder. This is the first book from the Lunar Chronicles. This is written by Marissa Meyer. All know about this is it's retelling of Cinderella basically as you can tell Cinder and the shoe that's all I know about this actually <laughs> I don't know that much about it. I'm glad I don't know that much about it because I want to be surprised and completely immersed into the story without knowing beforehand what happens. What I know about the Lunar Chronicles, like each book, I mean, all of, all of the books are out now so I don't have to worry about waiting for a year, which is great. Each book has like a different protagonist. I'm wondering how they're all connected. Like, I wonder if like in this book, it's about Cinderella. Cinder, meaning like, does her story end here? And then the next book, which is Scarlet. Okay, the next book is Scarlet, I don't know, which is basically is the story of Red Riding Hood. I wonder if like it's only gonna be about Scarlet and not no more Cinder in it. So that kind of thing, I don't really know. I want to be surprised and I'm excited to read this because Jesse the Reader on YouTube raves about it a lot. Well, not a lot, but says he likes it and I'm a big fan of Jesse. So yes, I'm gonna read this in the summer. So the last book I'll be reading for the summer, my sister has been dying for me to read this because she read this and she wants me to read it. And I'm not really that big of a fan of contemporary, but I mean, if I completely said no to contemporary, then I wouldn't have discovered Rainbow Rowell. But the last book I'll be reading is contemporary and it is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Um, this is actually a signed copy because we went to Y'all West and we got Jenny Han's signature. There it is. It doesn't really look that much different as the title because it is her handwriting. That's pretty cool. 
Um, yeah, so I'll be reading this in the summer because, you know, I mean, from time to time I want to read like a nice, um, a happy, light-hearted... I think out of all the books this might be the lightest one because I feel like all of them are gonna be like really dark and heavy. You get what I mean. This is probably the lightest out of all of them. It's the only contemporary one. So I'm excited to read this as well. I'm curious. We'll see what happens if I like it, if I don't. My sister talked about it a lot and I'm finally going to read it for her. So yes, that's it. Alright, those are all the books I'll be reading in the summer. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!